Hey guys, I'm Josh, this is Cody, and today we're gonna to show you how to assemble your Heckler AV cart. To get started, we're gonna take our box and lay it down on its face so that we can have easy access to the tape. We're gonna grab our box knife and carefully cut the edges of the box. Cool, so then we're gonna flip the box to the other side. Then we're gonna take the lid of the box up off, and we're gonna lay it out in front so that we can put our parts on top. Then we're gonna take our instruction manual, set that aside. So then we're gonna take each part out of the box and, and carefully put it on a soft surface. So we're gonna remove the rear legs first. And then we're gonna take the AV cart base. And then we're gonna take the multi shelves. Set of casters, both breaking and non-breaking. And last but not least, bag of parts. And then we're gonna take the foam layers out to reveal the vertical arms. So in the bag of parts that you'll be receiving, uh, you'll receive the vertical arm assembly tool and screws. You're gonna have some uh, zip ties and zip tie mounts. We're gonna have the rear leg assembly tool. The rear leg assembly screws will come installed in the legs themselves. And then we're gonna have the uh, shelf mounting hardware for your multi-shelves, uh, including the screws and the assembly tool. And then we'll have the TV mounting hardware you're gonna use to mount the TV to the vertical arms. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, start by removing the bolts from the legs. So next, we're gonna take our casters out of the packaging and grab the braking casters, make sure that we're putting them on the front legs of the AV cart. The front legs of your AV cart are going to be the wider set of legs. You're going to want to put the braking casters on the front. So now that we got the casters on the base of the AV cart, we're going to go ahead and set it down and now would be a good time to uh, put your brakes on. Next up, we're going to be assembling the vertical arms to the base of the AV cart. So we're going to want to get our vertical arm assembly screw and vertical arm assembly tool to install them. So there's gonna be a vertical arm for the, both the left and right side. Uh, you're gonna want the vertical arm's pull pattern facing the inside. Using two people, we're gonna install the vertical arm to the base. You're gonna have one person holding the vertical arm at all times, and then you're gonna take the vertical arm assembly screw and bring it up through the back. So you can go ahead and hand tighten it for a bit, and then you're gonna to wanna to finish it up with the assembly tool. At this point in the assembly process, you have a lot of freedom in choosing how to go about uh, finishing the rest of your AV cart. As you can see, there are two hole patterns going up and down the vertical arms here. This first one will be to allow you to mount your displays, and then the one on the inside is gonna allow you uh, choices on, on where you can mount your multi-shelves. So for this installation, we're gonna go ahead and install our shelves so that they can be used for video conferencing. So multi-shelf is an extremely versatile component shelf for AV cart. It can be installed in four different ways. You can mount it vertically like this and create a nice little pocket here. You can mount it upside down so that you have a nice uh, camera mounting slot here and a vessel mounting hole pattern on front. You can mount it as a tray to hold keyboards and mice, or you can mount it as a traditional shelf just to hold larger components like point, tilt, and zoom cameras. For our installation, uh, we're gonna take our multi-shelf and install it upside down like this so that we can install a video conferencing camera uh, beneath our TV. When you're installing the multi-shelf vertically, you're gonna use this set of holes. When you're installing the multi-shelf horizontally, you're gonna use this set of holes. One of your multi-shelves comes shipped with a four-port trip light power strip. This power strip comes pre-installed, but feel free to remove it if you don't need it. You can also remove the trip light power strip and install it to the back of the vertical arm here using the included mounting brackets. Next, we're gonna take our multi-shelf and install it above the other one. We're gonna stash our power strip and shelf neatly behind the TV so it stays out of sight. Next, we're gonna go ahead and install the TV mounting hardware to the rear of our television. And we can use the included foam in the packaging to create a soft resting surface for the display. The depth of the thread in the back of your display will vary from television to television, but the threaded post included with our TV mounting hardware should work with just about any display. So we're going to begin by twisting the threaded post by the rubber spacer in the back until we feel that it makes good contact with the bottom of the thread. 
then we're gonna continue twisting the rubber spacer to close the gap between the back of the television and the bottom of the spacer. Once we've got a snug fit, we're clear to take off the wing nut. You're always gonna to wanna to use these rubber spacers to create some distance between the back of your display and the vertical arms of the AV card so that you can run and route your cables in between the two. Using two people, we're gonna take our display with our hardware on the back and we're gonna bring it right up to the verticals of the AV card. Now once you have the posts properly in place in the vertical arms, you're gonna to wanna to have one person hold the TV while the other installs the wing nuts onto the back of the posts. Make sure that the person that's holding the display is putting some pressure towards the card as you're installing the wing nuts. Note the space that we've created using the rubber stoppers here. You're gonna to wanna to use this gap to route power cords and cables neatly between the display and the vertical arms and back to the shelves. Heckler AV cart includes two multi-shelves, uh, but for our installation, we're gonna to wanna to install a third, and these are available a la carte. Now that we've got our multi-shelves where we want them, we're gonna go ahead and take the top screws out and load up the multi-shelves with our gear. For this installation, we're gonna be using the quarter inch slot here in the multi-shelf to install a video camera. I'm gonna take the installation bolt and spacer that we bought separately and slide that through. And then we're gonna install the head of the camera on the other side. Uh, with the camera in place, now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall those top screws that we removed for our multi-shelf. Using the open corner in the multi-shelf, we're gonna go ahead and channel any cables that we need to our components. Next, we're gonna go ahead and lower the second shelf and install our video conferencing codec. Feel free to just stash your video codec here in the shelf or if you feel the need, you can also mount the codec to the multi-shelf using the VESA-compatible hole pattern here. Lastly, we're gonna take our power and networking cables and route them down the vertical arm and down the leg. We've already gone ahead and installed our zip tie mounts using a Phillips head screwdriver in the back of the vertical arm. Next, we're going to install the zip tie mounts into the legs. And that's how you assemble your Heckler AV card. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit us up at service at hecklerdesign.com. Thanks for watching.